Good morning, Jim Sunderworth here. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of still laughing about that frog song. I hadn't sung that for so long, but I thought it was kind of appropriate to sing when we were talking about the, the frog plagues. And I didn't mention to you the goddess of the frogs, her name was Heck. <laughs> Can you imagine? H-E-C-K-T, Hecht, Hecht. Can you imagine walking out and saying, what? Oh, Hecht, what's happening? <laughs> well, heck, told her what happened, nothing, because the frogs couldn't do anything for him. But the main thing about yesterday was this, don't put off to tomorrow what you should be doing today. Even, this, even right now as we're talking, there may be something in your life that you know you should be doing, and you'll say, well, I'll just, put, I'll just do it tomorrow, and tomorrow comes. So don't do that. Do not procrastinate, because God wants us to serve him one day at a time, and just say, Lord, have thy will in my life today, and then when he says something to do it, don't put it off, just get it done. And that's um, my wife and I, every morning, every morning when we get up, we make the bed. The first thing we do is make that bed. We do not procrastinate. We do not put it off. We don't sit there and look at that bed as we look at breakfast. You know why? Because we get something accomplished and we get it accomplished right then. And they say, you know what? A person that is successful in life usually makes their bed the first thing in the morning. No, no putting off. I don't know why I threw that in. Thought it made me interesting. Anyway, so here we go into the next, into the next plague. So as we come into the next plague, plague we come into uh, Moses said, "Okay, let my people go," and uh, you know, and then but this had no warning. The gnats came. I mean, gnats came. They came in and or lice. It could be lice or gnats. What it is, the, the word was kareen for these gnats. And the, what it, whatever it was, it was um, it was to, they would dig in. They would kind of dig, get into your skin and, and they would itch. And, and it was a horrible thing. And, and I, I know that uh, here in Florida, if you go out, um, uh, Devin, uh, my son, was a, uh, he was a lifeguard. And he would go out and he'd say, Dad, I love being a lifeguard. But man, sitting out there, they have these little bugs called noceums. And, and if you're in Florida, you know what they are. You can't see them, but boy, do they dig in and do they bite. And I thought, to, and I went out to see him one day and I was standing there talking to him one day and all of a sudden I started itching all over and the things got in, in my ears and my, I said, what is this? And he said, those are noceums, Dad. I have to fight them every day. I have to put stuff on every day. Well, can you imagine being just the whole place and here's how it happened the god of the land the god of the earth what what god told moses and aaron to do was take that staff and slap it down on the ground and cause dust and when that dust came up god created out of that dust the, all these gnats or, or lice or fleas or whatever they were they went to, and it flew up and went all over the land now the land god the god of the land his name was geb and so they worshiped the god of the land and when they, so what did God do? He said, I'll tell you what this land can do for you. Whack. And all those gnats and whatever they were went all over the land. You see, God's frogs, God's of the Nile, God's of the land, they couldn't do anything. I, I, I've watched people and I've talked to people that have put their life in, in so many different things. And then they come to the end of that because it is turned on them. It got under their skin. Has anything that come into your life that's gotten under your skin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what it's like. That just bugs me. Have you ever said that? That really bugs me. And sometimes, you know, you just hold that that frustration because all those little bugs coming in you and, and coming at you and you keep saying, that, that person bugs me or that philosophy bugs me or whatever it is. And we get the bugs coming our way and, and we don't know how God wants to exterminate them. God wants to take those things out of your life. If you'll just turn it over to the Lord. God, you know what? That really bugs me, but I'm just going to turn it over. I'm, I'm going to let you have that and just let him have those things that bug you today. I'm going to tell you, there's so many, there's so many things that can. Uh, I mean, you know, you are, you, you, you're set there and, and you think about uh, some person, what they said, or maybe they took some money from you or, or they um, said something about you or, or whatever it is. And it just got under your skin. God wants to take that away. If you just, he'll say, you want that to go? Yes, I want it to go. Forgive me. If Pharaoh would have said, let it go and done what God said, all those things that were bugging him would have been gone. I don't know, are you carrying something? Something frustrating you today? Something bugging you? Let's turn it over to the Lord. Mm. Let him get it out of our lives. Let's ask the Lord to 
forgive us and go on, okay? Let's pray right now, okay? Father, thank you. Thank you that we can turn this thing over to you and turn these situations over to you and turn people over to you that's bugged us or situations that's bugged us or something that's gotten under our skin. Father, we're just going to re relax and, and just let you take care of it. And Father, we'll just give you praise as we stop the scratching and just rest in the provision of your love and ointment of your Holy Spirit in Christ's name. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow.